when I first joined the Proteus about nine years ago, he was a shy young lad that uh, emerged from Thunderbale Park. But I must say, what struck me about Monet immediately was his gentleness, his kindness, uh, and his just his, his humanity overall. We grew up together, and and that's he's still that same guy today. He hasn't changed one bit. He's an example for everyone how to play cricket, how to live life. A man full of energy, man um, always has kept his feet on the ground. But um, what he's achieved over his career as a fast bowler is incredible. For somebody to play 100 ODIs and the amount of test cricket that he's played, uh, and he's managed to keep really fit, uh, certainly one of the fittest fast bowlers there, uh, and an absolute professional. Because of his height, he misses out on a lot more opportunities that other bowlers often get, and yet he still manages a way to pick up wickets, throw out great performances, and be one of the guys that Hash or AB or whoever's captain will always turn to with the ball and say, Monet, I need you here. He gets as excited when he gets a wicket um, as when he, when he sees a hamburger in front of him. So um, he's a funny guy and um, gets everyone laughing and he brings a, a light mood into the change room always. Um, he does get very, very nervous, I know that about him before games. So he's, he's got a nice mixture of getting nervous and being serious and then cracking the odd joke and, and making everyone feel comfortable and, and at ease before, before big games. Anything you ask Morning Morkel to do for you will end up doing for you. He, he always puts the next person ahead of his own needs and he's just been a wonderful role model for some of the younger players to play with and a massive privilege for me to work with as a coach. I've learned a great deal from him and um, it's been an absolute privilege to work with him. He's well loved by just about everybody. Everybody enjoys having him around and enjoys his quirkiness and his funny moments. So he's a great guy. He transcends cultures. He transcends, uh, you know, people, groups. He could easily come and sit on the table at, at breakfast with you and uh, one, have a wonderful conversation. What you see is what you get. Uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's an emotional guy. He, he loves the team. Um, so he lives all those things that we pride ourselves on as, as Proti of Fire. I suppose he's one of those guys that, if you want an example of exactly what it looks like, he's that. He's got it all. He's, uh, he's got a lot of humour, he's got a lot of seriousness, he's, he's caring. Um, you know, there's so much to him and uh, he's a great human being and you know, I wish him all the best. Real good team man uh, and really a nightmare to face in the net, so <laughs> nothing's changed. And, um, you know, I've always enjoyed having him around and uh, certainly one of my best friends in the team. He puts a lot of fear into opposition batters. Um, he puts a lot of fear in his own teammates as well in the nets. It's an absolute pleasure playing with him. It's a privilege playing cricket with him. And here's to hopefully many more years.